Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated server for Craftopia. This is going to be on a Windows machine and this is using Steam CMD. I will not cover any of the port forwarding on your router and firewalls. I have a video done for the Windows firewalls. You can Google it here on my channel or search for it here on my channel and you will find how to open ports in a Windows firewall. For your router, I recommend that you Google your router number, the, the make and model, and how to open or how to forward a port and you will should find that there's only one port for this game to open so it's not too difficult um, but every router and firewall is a little bit different so if i show you on my personal router it's not going to be much help to many of you so all right let's get to it steam cmd you need to have that downloaded and installed just go to google.com go to cmd favorite browser steam cmd right here will be this top link valve developer community click on that you're going to want to download the windows one so click on the windows option and then right here's the download link, click on that, hit file, save as, save the file. Now you need to extract it. I recommend you put it in its own folder. I put mine directly onto my C drive. Definitely recommend putting it somewhere you can find it. I made a folder called Steam CMD right here. And if you look at my folder, you'll see there's Steam CMD.exe. That's what you'll have. Um, just go ahead and run it and it's gonna pop up a little command window and it's going to download a bunch of files and you'll see your folder that you have it in start to populate that's what you want when it's done downloading it's going to be at a prompt just like this you need to type in login base anonymous and then hit enter it's going to connect you to the anonymous account boom you're in now you need to type in app underscore update and then the id number for the to uh Craftopia server is one six seven zero three four zero. Hit enter, and it's going to actually download all your files where you have already done this. So mine just says it's already up to date. This is how you also update your server. So whenever they put out a new update, you go through these first steps right here again, and it'll up this up actually updates your server. And then once you're done that, it's done downloading and everything. Just type in exit to close out that prompt. And then in the same folder where you put Steam CMD here, you'll see a folder called Steam Apps. Go in there, you want to go to Common. Then you're going to see all your dedicated servers. If this is the only one you have, the Craftopia dedicated server is what you want to go into. And then you're going to have some files here. You want to make a file, you want to make a .bat to actually run the Craftopia server. So you can just do that by right clicking, going New, going Text Document, and then name it like Start Server. And then hit period bat for bat and hit enter. Now, if you see what happened there, mine says server.bat.txt. That's probably what yours will say because you can't modify it. So go up here to view and you want to check file name extensions. So see, mine says that, but it's actually not a dot bat. So you want to make sure file name extensions is checked. Then you can actually click on this and rename this and get rid of the dot text. And now it's a dot bat file. It's going to ask you, hey, you sure you want to do this? Yes, but actually I messed it up slightly. I have an extra period there, but there we go. Now it's gone. Now you've made a .bat file. So what that means is it's an executable. So you want to right click on it and now we're going to edit this bad boy. And so I've already done this. This is what you want in this document. You can do this with Notepad++. Um, it's a free download or you can just do it with regular Notepad. So all you need to type in here is craftopia.exe and then I have a dash log and a dash unattended and then just an exit to close out the window. Very simple right there then you need to hit file save save as whatever you want to name it and then you need to double click on it and it's going to actually start up your server for you it's going to take it a little bit depending on how beefy your machine is all right so when it gets done displaying new text you're, if you look up you should see a text that says you can modify the server settings from this location right here that's actually where we're going to head next is where you want to modify it so click in the window and hit Control c and sometimes you got to hit it like two or three times i don't know why You'll see it right here, it's actually shutting it down. There, when it gets shut down, then you can terminate the batch it, yes. That's how you shut down the server. Now we're gonna go to that location. So you wanna go to your C drive, your users, whatever profile you're logged into, uh, app data, and if you don't see app data, it's a hidden folder, so you gotta click on view up here and have a check mark here where it says hidden items. Then you should see app data. Then local low, then the pocket pair, Craftopia, and then here's your server settings.ini that you want to edit. So right click on it and open it with Notepad uh, or Notepad++, whatever you have, some kind of text editor. And here's your server settings and they do a great job of explaining what everything is here. 
and then you just make the modifications down here in your actual file. Once you get it set up the way you want, hit file, save, and then you can close out this window. And now your server is set up the way you want. Now go back and launch the server again. So go back to your Steam CMD folder. So mine's gonna be up here, Steam apps. So Steam CM C drive, Steam CMD, Steam apps, common, Craftopia dedicated, and then now we're back to where we made that dot bat file. And now we just want to launch it, right? And it's gonna start a server up. And then once it's completely done, then you should be able to join by your IP address. That's your external IP address. And if you don't know what that is, just go to Google and type in what is my IP, and it will tell you what your external IP address is. And then you need to share that along with the port that you used um, to open it with your friends, and then they'll be able to connect to your server, and you guys can all play and have a good time. Um, the port is listed here, and this is where you can change it to in your, in your server settings. So if you want to change it, if you don't want it to be the default port, for instance, you do it here in the server settings, edit it, you'll see down here it says port right here. Default is 6587, that's what you need to have open in your firewall and router to, for people to be able to connect. If you can't see your server and you can't connect, that is why. Now if you're, local, if you're hosting this locally on another computer, obviously, because you don't want to host and play on the same machine, um, so say you're playing on like your, your laptop, but you have a, an old server that you have set up in you know the room beside you. So it's technically called a LAN, local area network, and you need to connect to it, then you wouldn't use your external IP. You would actually use the internal IP of the server. All right, this is one of the simplest dedicated server setups I've ever done. Craftopia has done a great job of making it fairly easy. Now with that said, there's not a lot you can modify. As you can see, with the creative mode, there's a lot more settings, but with just the normal mode, there's not a lot of stuff to set. Um, I don't know how to do any modifications as far as adding mods to the game either. I don't ever do that, and I don't know if that's possible. This is a heads up for the people. Uh, that's a question I normally get asked. So, All right, hopefully the video helped you. I try to be quick and to the point. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. We do all kinds of videos here at the MMG, and we would love you to be a member of the community. Thanks for watching, and have yourself a great day.